Okay, so uh, after the last class, anything, any doubt you have? All of you have uh, understood the things, right? So in the last class, what we have done, so uh, we have basically discussed about the, uh, how to draw the, uh, like uh, this particular relative velocity equation, etc. we have discussed, okay? And uh, after that, the main thing that we have done was, uh, we have drawn the uh, velocity diagram for slide dropping mechanism using the relative velocity method, okay? So now, uh, after that, I believe all of you have understood how to draw it, right? So we always consider that particular V equal to R omega, okay? That That is the very basic, basic uh, requirement, okay? And uh, we use that knowledge, that means uh, how that uh, velocity magnitude knowledge, as well as the direction of the velocity, we know that it's uh, perpendicular to that particular link itself, okay? So those using those knowledge, actually, we, we have uh, drawn that particular velocity diagram. And the uh, different logics that we have used, suppose the slider, uh, it is having the motion that is the velocity along the line of stroke. So those things we have discussed. And later on, we have seen, uh, like, uh, also, yes, uh, we know that uh, velocity of a particular point with respect to the fixed point, it is nothing but the absolute velocity. That is the, if we uh, draw about, suppose, with respect to this O point, okay, that is the fixed point. So V, A, O, etc. that is velocity of A with respect to O. So it itself is the absolute velocity of A, okay, because it is with respect to the fixed point O. But uh, here in this particular case, V, B, A, right, in the right-hand side, if you say, okay, so that is velocity of B with respect to A. So it's a, definitely it's a relative velocity because A and B, both the uh, points are not actually fixed, okay, they can have the motions. Okay, and later on we have seen how this diagram can be utilized to uh, know the non, uh, know the information about the velocity of some other points on this particular link. Okay, like we have considered the point C, and thus we have obtained it. So I believe all of you have understood uh, how to draw this velocity diagram for a uh, slide dropping mechanism, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So today we are going to uh, draw the velocity diagram uh, for a four bar mechanism. I believe all of you already uh, uh, recall about the configuration diagram, the four bar mechanism. So uh, now, see the previous case, just like in the slider kind mechanism. So whatever way we have actually drawn and uh, obtained the uh, velocities of different different points from the diagram. So what uh, in practice, or maybe while, while you are solving the problem, if similar kind of things are there, but with having some numerical values of the suppose the link length, maybe the angular velocity of the link, etc. Okay, then what you will do? So basically, the uh, way that you have to draw will remain the same. But wherever we have obtained suppose v equal to r omega, we have uh, written directly suppose a link length. Okay, into the suppose that omega value whatever is given. So in practice, practice while solving the problems, maybe sometimes the values values might be given. The values will be given if we are solving the problem. So then you have to, uh, whatever is the omega value, whatever is the link length value, those value you will directly utilize and you will get some numerical value. And after that, you will be selecting your proper scale and draw that in. And rest will follow in the similar manner. So now today we are going to discuss about the for, uh, velocity diagram for forward mechanism. So it's a very easy one. Already you have already studied about this slide diagram mechanism. So this should be very easy for you. So now in this particular figure, so we, we have uh, shown a particular uh, forward forward mechanism okay and there this point okay here this position and this position they are fixed so these are the a b b c c d okay they they are the different bars okay and a d okay and they are hinge joint so all of you already know so now this four bar mechanism a b c d is shown in this particular figure and uh, a and d they are the fixed point okay and uh, we have given uh, it has been given that omega is the angular velocity for this particular link a b in this particular clockwise direction and uh, we have to draw the velocity diagram for this particular configuration okay so now how to start so while starting about the velocity diagram definitely we have to have this particular configuration diagram of this whatever is the mechanism so sometimes the configuration diagram might be directly given for a, suppose a particular figure particular mechanism will be shown and from there you might have to draw that particular velocity diagram to the and do the analysis and sometimes for some uh, standard uh, mechanisms like slider king mechanism separ mechanism four bar mechanism etc so uh, the figures the configuration diagram etc might not be given and uh, directly you might be asked suppose you uh, suppose you uh, draw the do, do the velocity analysis or draw the velocity diagram for a separate method or for a slider like that it might be given 
okay so in that particular case directly you should all of you should be able to add, uh, should be able to draw the configuration diagram properly and do the needful analysis later on okay so now starting is this one and what are the information that is given so the omega it is given it is follow in this particular direction so from that particular point okay particular uh, particular case okay we are going to start the well uh, uh, start drawing the velocity diagram so now prior to drawing that particular velocity diagram just go through whatever is given whatever it can be uh, whatever you can correlate now so now here what we have seen so ad in this particular figure from here you can say that this ad is a fixed link okay so now that means the point a and the point d they are the fixed point that we have and uh, we can start from here and uh, for drawing the velocity diagram so in the velocity diagram we use the small letters so what we will do so uh, these two points this a and d point as they are the fixed okay so they can be considered as the same point because we know uh, whenever we are talk, uh, for talking about fixed point so with respect to fixed point we get the absolute velocities and if they are fixed so absolute velocity of other uh, points with respect to any of this particular fixed point will be in the same that's why in the velocity diagram a and d will be considered as the same point okay so it can be considered as the same point a and d uh, so now in this particular uh, on a particular place while starting you take any uh, in, in any you can say uh, point okay suppose uh, this is a and they will remain the same okay a and d become the same point suppose you start from here okay suppose this is the point we have located now what we know what are the knowledge that we have so omega is given and now we know that we how can get so a b that is the link right and b is a point on the link a so this is the point b right so now from there the velocity of the point b this is the point b so velocity of the point b how we can get that is velocity of point b with respect to a that is v v or p b a because a is the fixed point so same thing so how we can get just using that p equal to omega r that particular thing so omega is given at omega and r here in this particular case will become this link length that is the a b length omega into a b and uh, when you are solving problem so this omega numerical value will be uh, you'll be having similarly a b length you'll be having so uh, you you'll, you'll get a particular value numerical value of pb and now you consider the proper scale okay you consider the proper scale and and uh, this value whatever is the pb value you have obtained okay so it will be in the clockwise sense and direction will be in which direction it will be perpendicular to this link ab itself because we already know this direction will be perpendicular so this way pb a or pb it will be there okay so we'll start from uh, that that is that is known okay so now starting from point a okay so pb a that is we have okay so in which direction this direction perpendicular to ab so numerical whatever is the numerical value we have obtained as per the scale for omega into ab you will consider that mass length and draw this particular line okay and that is what it is your p b or p b a okay and uh, what is this point we'll get the point b small b point next up to this much it is clear first step yes yes sir, sir. Okay. yes okay thank you now see PCB, if we consider PCB, okay, PCB means what? Velocity of? C with respect to V. Correct. So, it's a velocity of point C with respect to V. And what will be its direction? PCB, it is C, P at C, okay? This is link. This is this particular link that means with respect to this, okay? So, what will be its direction? of pcb b to c direction direction it will be perpendicular to this link perpendicular to the link bc just like this previous case it's just perpendicular to this link ab so vcb okay 
so it will be that make to, uh, it will be perpendicular to the link pc understood so can you repeat again so this velocity c c is a point c is a point on this link pc right agreed yes sir okay so now whenever we are uh, talking of suppose we getting pcb okay how we can get it so so pcb suppose right now i don't know what is the value numerical value magnitude that means okay but we can know the direction direction we already know it is always perpendicular to that particular link just like the previous case also we have used pb it was perpendicular to the ab link similarly pcb okay perpendicular to bc link now is it clear yes sir okay so now that means right now we know about this particular direction of it okay p c b and uh, b and c definitely it means from b we can start it is c b b is also there okay and it should be perpendicular to this particular link b c so we'll start from here and a perpendicular so don't mind my drawing because drawing in laptop is it's in the keypad and all okay it becomes difficult so okay suppose this is the perpendicular to this particular link this direction okay so this is p c b okay velocity of point c with respect to b agreed yes sir okay so yes so the, uh, yes sir okay so now next step now see now if we discuss about fellows pcd what will be pcd pcd means velocity of point c with respect to d okay so it's the relative velocity of point c with respect to d that means it's a relative velocity and uh, pcd c point is on this particular link cd okay now what will be the direction of this particular velocity one from one logic c point was on the bc okay so cb pcb was perpendicular to cbc link pcd will be perpendicular to which link cd vector will be perpendicular to this cd link yes agreed yes sir okay so now d point is already located we already have the fixed point d okay so perpendicular to cd link we'll start from d now okay because previously we knew that c is somewhere here but i don't know the exact location of it i know that this is the vcb direction okay but i don't exactly have the point small c point okay but now i can locate it so now for that perpendicular to cd link from d we'll draw okay so uh, we'll draw perpendicular to cd okay and this is the point c small c okay and what is this vector this is this particular statistic but it represents this vector represents v c d okay and this completes this particular diagram and as these two vectors bc and dc they intersect at this particular point so this is the c point okay understood so this is what is this particular drawing sir mm. how are we yes. getting the directions directions are already see if you recall yesterday's class So, this is perpendicular to the line joining A and B. That means, or if you go from this particular figure, okay. So, from this particular figure, if you see, okay, these are the considered these bodies can be considered as the link, okay. So, O A or like that. So, they were we have already obtained v equal to r omega. That expression we have obtained, okay. That v equal to r omega. That is we are using, and for direction of velocity, okay. It is perpendicular to the line joining those points. Okay, that is the nothing but the link. Ultimately, it becomes the link. So it be, it is already perpendicular to the link. Okay, directly we can use perpendicular to the link. So in this particular diagram, in this particular case, which are the link? So this is one link. 
this is another link bc cd another link so direct perpendicular to this particular position all of you can draw right so and that is how we are going the direction perpendicular to link and we are just using the logic that is cd or like that sequentially we are going we are starting from the fixed point okay understood now yes sir okay now once you have drawn once you have drawn this particular diagram okay and now we have uh, come up with this particular diagram now what we can do already we have we knew the scale right we knew that suppose one sir. yes sir can you repeat uh, how to get the direction sir? direction is perpendicular to the link understood now yes sir okay so that is how we are getting now after you have drawn this particular diagram we have drawn it up but as per certain scale that means suppose uh, whatever is the suppose vehicle to r omega using this okay whatever suppose you are getting suppose 150 meter per second that kind of value. then uh, maybe by looking at the size of your pace maybe you will consider suppose uh, 50 meter per second as let consider scale as 50 meter per second suppose you have considered as two centimeter or one centimeter whatever Suppose one centimeter you have considered to 50 meter per second as one centimeter and after that you have drawn the diagram and you have come up with this particular direction. Now what we can do once again, you come for getting uh, knowing the velocity of this particular values, okay, this PCD or PCB, CD, CB, etc. So for that what you can do, you can just measure this, okay, you can measure this particular line and just convert as per this scale. Suppose after measuring VCD, you have obtained as, suppose VCD, you have obtained as, you have measured using scale, okay? And you have obtained this as two centimeter. So then what is the actual value, velocity value? You can tell me. 100 yes. meter per second. Correct. So as for two centimeter, if it is, so you'll just do the conversion and it will, to one centimeter means to uh, 50 meter per second second two centimeter will mean so 100 meter per second so that is how once you draw this particular uh, uh, diagram so after that just by measurement and all okay all the values can be obtained okay and in between if you have suppose any point suppose in between b and c you have you you have another point suppose x and uh, you want to know about its value okay suppose it is here in b in between b and c so this is we have b it is the c this is b we have okay you'll you'll locate this particular point in the similar ratio here suppose this point becomes x point okay and uh, if you start uh, drawing from the fixed point that is a or d this way if you draw so that will give you uh, the velocity of this with respect to the original point understood so this is how by knowing the velocity diagram other velocities velocity of different points from the mechanism can be obtained understood yes sir okay. similarly okay that is about the rotor velocity similarly if you know, know, want to know about the angular velocity of link pc <coughs> so here also just like one second v equal to r omega doing that okay so you can get it so now pcb is now known from measurement so suppose for omega bc or omega cb so it is just we already know v equal to r omega okay or omega r okay so here this r this length they becomes the link length okay so now omega if you want to know okay then p value for that particular link already can be obtained from this diagram just like in this particular case you will do the measurement okay and you'll just do the conversion and you'll get this particular value and uh, similarly that means p is known and this r value is nothing but the link length values which can be directly obtained so this will be known so omega can be obtained as per requirement so doing the angular velocity of uh, link bc can be determined as omega bc equal to pcb by cb okay anti-clockwise understood so that is how we have drawn this particular velocity type and it can be utilized to uh no different you can say uh, different 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 uh, velocity of different different points let me know you have understood or not. Okay, thank you. So, uh, if someone ask, uh, gives you some problem, solve, solve this particular problem, suppose giving the numerical values. Now, I hope all of you will be able to do similar kind of problem. 
I have shown you the scheme how to do it. Okay, and after that, if numerical values are given, just you just have to uh, use those numerical values instead of suppose r or omega writing omega or r or like that. Okay, that values you will just put and convert. Uh, they will take the according scale and draw the diagram. Okay. Okay, so now next uh, we'll be going for the separ mechanism. So separ mechanism, where it is used? I believe from first uh, uh, module knowledge, you already know about separ mechanism, and you remember the uh, configuration diagram of separ mechanism also. Maybe from our first module also we have studied also in uh, manufacturing process or manufacturing technology that kind of uh, subject also you might have uh, studied about your separ mechanism. Okay, so it's a kind of quick return motion mechanism. Okay, so now once again we have to draw the particular velocity diagram. What is our first task? First task is we have to have the configuration diagram, right? And uh, this is what is the this one is the configuration diagram for separate mechanism. This is the separate mechanism. Okay, so here this O1 okay and O2 they are the fixed positions. Okay, and uh, we have got this particular crank. O to A and uh, it is given that with uh, omega, uh, omega to that angular velocity in the anti-clockwise direction. Okay, this crank O to A, this one, this one is moving. It is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with the angular velocity omega two. Okay, and uh, we have to draw the. It is required to draw the velocity diagram for this particular configuration. Okay, so now. What are the different things that we have? We already know that is the uh, uh, this particular slider B. Okay, this is the coincident point here that we have, and this is O to A. This is nothing but a kind of crank. Okay, and uh, it is this particular uh, V. Okay, it can uh, it can uh, it's a kind of the slope at river kind of thing. Okay, so it can have this slider can have motion here also, and uh, along with this particular rotation of this particular crank, this uh, this setup will move in this particular direction also and uh, we have this particular link which uh, and at this particular end we have got that particular ram or the cutting tool we have got the cutting tool or the ramp here and it does the work okay so this is kind of the slider position okay so those things you already know now we have to draw the con uh, velocity diagram for it after this much i believe it's okay yes sir Okay. So, so what are the different? Uh, okay, what are the? Uh, suppose, uh, uh, right now, forget about drawing the velocity diagram. Suppose someone asks you to draw the uh, find out the degree of freedom. So then also, what you should be able to do, you should be able to draw this particular configuration diagram if it is not given, and definitely the different links you should be able to uh, find out and number them. So if we are right now thinking of suppose doing a uh, degree of freedom, okay, finding out degree of freedom. So these are the fixed points, okay. So we can give us number one link. Okay, suppose this is uh, this crank is number two link. Okay, this slider is number third, and this whole link is uh, the sort of clever kind of thing. It is number fourth, and this link is number fifth, and uh, this slider is number six, and this guide is once again number one. Okay, so I believe this way all of you can will be able to uh, find out the uh, degree of freedom also. If someone asks you to find out the degree of freedom, you will find out uh, what kind of joint uh, we have got. Okay, how many by many bands, uh, and all. Okay, so and after that, it's, so okay, that was different. Now, right now, our uh, task is what is our task? We are find, going to find out the degree, uh, the, uh, we have to draw the velocity diagram. Okay, now this point A, point A is at one of the end of the crank O to A. This is O two, and uh, this position is O one. Okay, so this is A. Okay, so the point A is at a at one of the end of the crank, crank this particular crank O two A. Okay, and already this omega two in this anti-clockwise direction that is already given. So for this link, it is omega two is already given. So now we have omega. Okay, we have the link length. Okay, O two A link length can be obtained. Uh, so we can get the p velocity of A this point A with respect to O two. 
as and as o2 itself is kind of your uh, uh, your uh, fixed point so that itself is nothing but the kind of phi a also can be written like this and phi equal to r omega we know right so now r omega is omega 2 it is given okay and what will be the r value here for this case who will tell me P equal to R omega, we know. Okay, omega is omega two, no problem. R value will be for this particular case when we are finding out P A O two. Okay, then what will be this length? This is nothing but the link length O two A. Understood? Let me know. No sir. You have not understood or what? No sir. Once. Yeah, that is what we are saying. So P A two A O two. Okay, A is a point on this link O two A O two A crank. Okay, omega two uh, angular velocity for this particular crank is already given. So we know V equal to R omega. So omega becomes omega two here, and R that particular length is nothing but the link length O two A. This link length. That is what we are writing. Okay, so that is the numerical value. And what will be the direction? Who will tell me? Direction for V A O two. Direction. What will be the direction, Vishal? It is sir. What will be the direction? Sir, your uh, yes. voice is distorted. Can you repeat, sir? What about the direction? This is the value p of velocity of a with respect. Uh, yes, uh, yes. It is sir, you are saying something perpendicular to what? Perpendicular to b, sir. B means O to b. This link, okay. Not only b. B is not, b is a point. O to b is the link, okay. Perpendicular to O to b. So this is the O to b. So over here, that means along this direction. Perpendicular to it, we have got this particular value. Okay, understood. And it will coincide with the point is this point B. Whenever we are talking about this particular slider B, okay. So this point B is located on this particular link four. Okay, that is O one C. Okay, so point B is located here, and it also that point B itself coincides with point A. Okay. Whenever we are talking about this crank, we are talking like suppose O to A, and whenever we are talking with respect to suppose P, so that is the coincident point actually. Okay. Understood. Sir, yes, the sir. A, sir, the A and B point will coincide. Uh, coincide. Ah uh, yes, yes. They, they, it's known as the coincident point actually. So O to A, we are talking like as it's as if it is the end point of uh, crank A. Okay. And uh, B, this B is this point B is located on this link O one C. This bigger link, okay? This or uh, this one, okay? O one C. This or and uh, this B and C, B and so uh, sorry, sorry, it is B and A, not B and C. B and P, uh, A point. It is coinciding with A point. B point is coinciding with A. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so now that means the velocity of point B, this point B, okay, which is located on, uh, which is uh, on O one C, this link, okay. So it will be perpendicular to the velocity of point B that we can write P B and with respect to which point, velocity of point B P B O one, okay, it is on the link O one O one C, so P B O one. Okay, so that will be in which direction? This velocity will be in which direction? It will be perpendicular to O1B. Ah, yes, it will be perpendicular to O one B or O one C. The same thing. Extension extended version is O one C. Okay, but it will be perpendicular to O one B. Okay, 
So that means in this particular direction, perpendicular to this. After this much, all of you, I believe, have understood. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, uh, now we we uh, we are ready with the preliminary observations and all. Okay, and uh, we can start our velocity diagram drawing. So for that, what is our first task? Which which are the fixed points here? Basically, O one and O two. This one, O one, O two, O one and O two, they are fixed point, right? So that means O O O one and O two can be treated as the same point, okay? Because ultimately, if they are fixed point, so uh, velocity of other points with respect to any fixed position, they'll be the same. So it will not have any other meaning if we draw it somewhere else, okay? If we look at the point somewhere, else. so they will be behaving like the same point. Okay, because this. so we'll start from here. Okay, any point you'll take, and depending on whatever is your base size and all, so that within that particular scale, this value comes inside. Okay, you'll you'll have this numerical value for V A two and all A A A, A O two, and uh, by looking at this particular value, you'll take a scale. Okay, suppose if some twenty meter per second equal to suppose one centimeter, two centimeter, whatever we. So now. O one and O two point. This is the O one O two point. Okay, so we have start. We are going to start from here. So now already we have obtained that P A O two. That is velocity of A with respect to O two is perpendicular to this particular uh the crank O two B and the numerical value also we have obtained. So as per that particular scale, what we are going to do? So that perpendicular to this. That means. This direction. So this way, from starting from O2, we are going to draw we are going to draw this. Okay. And this represents what? P A or ultimately P A O2. Same thing. And we have got magnitude as well as direction. So this vector represents P A or P A O two because O two is fixed. So we can write like P A itself. Same thing, absolute velocity. Okay, understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So it has direction already. We know perpendicular to O two A. Now the velocity of point B with respect to point A. Okay, velocity of point B. Point B is where is here. Okay, with respect to point A. Point A ultimately is the similar kind of coincident point, but we are considering point A on the crank, point B on the link. That way we are considering. Sir. Yes. Sir, uh, P P A O two is perpendicular to which line, sir? This crank O two A. Yes, sir. Getting my point? Yes, sir, but it doesn't look perpendicular. This, I'm this. Not getting it. This is the link. Okay, this is perpendicular. Yes, sir. Now you're getting it. So this yes, line, sir. this line is parallel to this line. I have, I am drawn, I am drawing in somewhere else. Now we have started from O one, O two. Okay, I have taken the point O one and O two here. That's why I'm saying that having the geometrical instrument is important because you should be able to uh, draw perpendicular to this link and all. Otherwise, the values will be different. That's why you have to. Right now, in my drawing, it may not exactly look perpendicular and all, but while you are solving the problems, that is required. Understood? Yes. Sir. yes sir. Okay. So next, if we think of the velocity of point B with respect to A, okay, so that will be. Ultimately, along the line O one B, so along this particular line, okay, that is P B A velocity of B with respect to A, okay. So P B will be parallel to this particular O one. This is O one. This is O one. Okay, O one B. Okay. After this pass, it is logic is understood. Yes, sir. 
okay so now that means if uh, that is happening so from a already a point is located here so from a to obtain the vba i can draw this i can draw like this okay parallel to this link okay sir uh, yes sir shouldn't we draw o1 c first sir that that that's how the ab line will will so intersect on that line uh, uh, yes correct the, correct both that both, both the things are correct so actually uh if we start from a this particular right now whatever i have shown that is vba so right now b point is not located Okay, right now if you start yes, like this, B point is not located. You can extend this, no problem. Okay, but after uh, after extension, once you have located the point B, so you have to like you can remove this mask once you do properly. Right now, as I already know, that's why I am drawing up to this mask so that later on it doesn't look clumsy. Okay, or otherwise, just like you have said, correct. So we can also start already. We know P or uh, that uh, about this particular. Uh, an another direction already you have obtained na PBO, okay? So that is PBO one, O A not O A, PBO one. That one can so can also be drawn first, okay? So that's like you have said. So uh, if I want to draw this, okay? So then the velocity of point B with respect to O one, okay? This one already I have PBO. PBO one. This one. Okay, so this one is perpendicular to O one B. Okay, and uh, we can start from O one point that is already there, and uh, a, we can draw a vector O one B. Okay, and uh, it will intersect that particular previous line here. So if we draw, now starting from here. Starting from here, if we draw, so uh, this way at this particular point, at this particular point, they are going to intersect, and that is nothing but the small p point. Understood? Wherever they intersect, that is the p point. Now b point is located. Okay, understood? Up to this step. Let me know. Yes, sir. Okay, so okay. Next, we should be able to locate this particular point C. Okay, and C is a point which is on the extension of this particular link O one B. If we extend in a proper ratio, we should get C point. Okay. So now, in the same case, in the velocity diagram also, what we are going to do, we are to locate that point C, small C. That means this particular point. If I want to locate, okay. So for locating this, what we are going to do? So we already have. O one B this line. We already just now we have this line, okay? One B, and I want to locate this particular point. See, okay, so B is this point. O one is this point. C is this point, and now I am going to locate this point C. How to do that? For doing so, what we are going to do? We are going to extend this just now. Whatever we have done, O one B, extend O one B to O one C to locate this point C one. And how we are going to do so? So that the length of this from the velocity diagram, that means O one B, this ratio divided by O O one C. Okay, from the velocity diagram. Okay. It should be same as the ratio should be same as this capital O one B, right? Capital O one C. In the same ratio, it should be divided. Okay, so that way we'll be able to locate the point C. Understood? Let me know. Yes, I understood. Okay. Now we'll come to this particular law of velocity. That is velocity of the slider D. Now, C D is this particular link, 
right? CD is this particular link. And now velocity of the point D with respect to C. Velocity of point D with respect to C. P, D, C. That is, that is this particular link. C, D is this particular link. So velocity of point D with respect to C, that is P, D, C, D. What will be its direction? What will be its direction? Right now, I don't know. Perpendicular, about to, to, C. C. Sir. perpendicular to? D, o C. C, sir. It is perpendicular to D, C, not O, 1, C. It is perpendicular to DC because it is we are talking about V DC. Okay, so it is perpendicular to the link DC. So DC link is this one. So perpendicular to this link that means this way somewhere. Okay, so now starting from this point C, which is here in this particular uh, velocity diagram, we are going to draw a line, drop a line to designate V DC perpendicular to CD. Okay, so starting from here, we we'll draw a okay line perpendicular to CD okay and right now I know only the direction I don't know exactly where is the point D and we have to denote that point D after this much okay yes sir okay so that particular line is representing P D C this particular vector okay now I know that that is the V D C line okay but exactly the D point I have not located and we have to do that and now once again the velocity of point D that slider itself that's sliding point itself okay with respect to O1 if we discuss okay that is the fixed point O1 that is P how to write velocity of point D with respect to O1 what will be that nomenclature V of <coughs> sorry velocity of D with respect to O1 how to write P. Tell me, anyone? D. D O one. P D O one, or ultimately P P D. That is also correct because O one is fixed point. Okay, so velocity of point D with respect to O one, that is P D D O A, or ultimately P D itself. So, what will be the di di direction of it? What about the absolute velocity of D? D is the slider, right? Slider are ultimately in this separate mechanism. There itself, we have got the RAM or the cutting tool position. Okay. And along the line of, this is the line of stroke direction. This way, it has got the motion. That is, in this way, it has got the velocity. Right? Yes, that is the slider. We have shown the guide also. Yes, sir. Okay. So that means from O, this is the O1 position, O1 and O2. So from here, I'll, I are going to draw a vector, that is a line, okay, parallel to the line of stroke, okay, so this way. Okay, and wherever they intersect, that point becomes the D point. So, this intersecting point is the D point. That is now D is also located. And this vector represents the absolute velocity of D. This particular vector represents velocity of D with respect to C. Okay. So that is how we have drawn the this particular velocity diagram for separate mechanism. Done. Understood? Yes. Understood, sir. Okay. Now, after that, if you uh, need to know about, suppose, uh, velocity of any intermediate point and all, okay? So, you can definitely have that uh, in that particular same ratio. You can locate that particular point on that link, okay? Suppose on O1C, you need. Then from here in this velocity diagram, you find out where is the O1C, okay? And on that link, whatever is the ratio, that way, that way you can find out another point and all. Okay, and with, if you need the absolute velocity, then you have to discuss or drop the line, draw the line with respect to O1 or O2, because they are the fixed point. Or if res with respect to some other point, if you want, then you have to join those two other points. Okay, and thus, after that, as we already have the proper scale, scale is already there. Okay, and you know what is the conversion 
conversion factor depends. So once you know the scale, as per the scale only you have drawn. So after that, you can do the measurement by scale and uh, do the conversion accordingly. Suppose if you have already chosen one meter, uh, one centimeter equal to 10 meter per second. If you have suppose three meter, uh, uh, three centimeter, okay, then you have to consider suppose three, one centimeter equal to 10 meter per second. So three centimeter means 30 meter per second. That is the velocity. So after that way, the velocity diagram, this graphical method helps you. So you'll just uh, measure, do the measurement and do the conversion and it will give you the answer. Okay. So similarly, after that, uh, if you if you want to have the angular velocity, just, uh, okay, suppose angular velocity of o, O1C, that link for the bigger one. Okay. So once again, V equal to R omega. Okay. You know, so omega equal to, so you know, V equal to R omega. So omega is nothing but V by R. So that is what we will do. So P, omega of which, which whatever you want okay so p omega of suppose o1 c link e1 okay so you this velocity o1 c you will consider and the smaller one okay and the link length o1 c you will consider capital letters okay and that will give you this particular angular velocity that is how after drawing the velocity diagram okay uh, you can get also the angular velocity amount okay so with this We'll stop here for today. In the next class, we'll be discussing the another method that is about the instantaneous center method. So for that, we'll first discuss about what is instantaneous center, how to locate it, and after that, we can solve some problem. Okay. So this will stop here for today. So if you have any doubt, any confusion, you can ask me. You let me know whether you have understood or not. Understood, sir. So I hope now all of you have got the confidence that this kind of thing you'll be able to do, right? Sir, I have one doubt, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, uh, that A is not in the figure, sir. It's, uh, it's said in the, beside the figure, sir. Uh, can there be more uh, points like A, sir? Like, see, that, that A, A and B, they are the coincident points, okay? That means, see, we have got two different elements. That slider is, Actually, if you recall uh, the paper mechanism configuration diagram, right? So there you have seen also that at the end of the <coughs> at the end of the crane, okay, that slider on slider also is there, just like in the bank and sloppy liver, if you recall. So now that particular uh, uh, slider, okay, that can slide on the bigger link, that O one C link, if you recall from the figure to this figure. And O2C, O2A, that is the, that we have called as the, uh, your crank, okay? And now that particular crank, O, A and B point becomes the coincident point. Now for our uh, analysis, that is O1A, that way we have considered the crank, okay? B is the slider, okay? B and A, they becomes the coincident point along with that particular, uh, the end point of the crank, okay? That slides with the B, that is the slider. And also, because of the rotation of the crank, okay, that motion also, the two extreme positions, if you recall from the first uh, module, okay, two extreme positions of that uh, separate mechanism also, okay, that is gives you, the, that gives you the two strokes, okay, that also you have obtained. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, any more doubt, anyone? If now we'll uh, take the attendance now. I'll be calling your names. You respond to it. Samim? Present, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Biswajit. Biswajit. Catherine. Yes, sir. Tapas. Present, sir. Jiggas. Present, sir. Subham. Present, sir. Andreas. Asis? Present, sir. Kandip? Present, sir. Vishal? Present, sir. Sempang? Present, sir. Sempang? Albayak? Present, sir. sir. Jorian? Present. Yeah, Jorian? Sensing Dao? Present, sir. Mario? Present, sir. Mario? Norangsi? Present, sir. Joy Deep. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, so Andreas is absent. Biswajit, are you here? Seems like no. He's, uh, okay, so thank you everyone for joining. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir. Sir.